No More Heroes 1 and 2 Limited Edition on Nintendo Switch is finally here, and it's from Limited Run Games. Been waiting for this for quite a few months now, and I'm looking forward to opening this and making a video about this finally. First, I'm going to go over the little cards and the flag before we actually get into the actual games themselves. So, here we go. So, straight away, we've got the flag. I'm going to be honest here, the flag is a bit of a disappointment. Like, the way it was advertised and shown, it looked a lot bigger and looked to be made in a better fabric. Because this is like see through and quite rough. The roughness, it kind of feels like a tent or a sleeping bag. So, try to imagine the flag feeling like that. But yeah, um,. I was kind of hoping for like this big actual thing I could hang up on my wall and it'd be like all soft like an actual flag, but no, we've got like a hand, slightly bigger than hand sized tablecloth. Um, so yeah, I'll be trying to use this for the background of the video here, but um, yeah, it probably won't work out so well because it's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. These are the trading cards you get with it, um, so this is what I've got for No More Heroes 1 and I got this for No More Heroes 2. There are more trading cards, and it's random which ones you get. I'm going to show a picture here of the different ones other people have gotten online. Yeah, so it's kind of random which ones you get. I'm pretty happy with the ones I got, like these are the ones I kind of were after. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the actual games itself. And yeah, this is why I was saying the background might not work so well, because this is literally the size of these put together. Anyway, here is one and two put together, as you've probably seen online quite often. So makes a big picture. This half is No More Heroes 1, so it's got the original Travis drawing with what I think is supposed to be semen and dirtiness, I don't know, it's quite gross. <laughs> and on the side, the flag is quite dirty and burnt and on fire with No More Heroes 2 and Travis there. Here's the side. It's basically a picture of half Travis and because when you put these together it makes the full picture. Yeah, I don't know why I got a weird imprint there. Um, I will say I'm kind of disappointed with the edges, like I've noticed like this, it's quite bumped and creased. Um, yeah, like there's a bit of damage on the way here but it's fine. The other side is literally the same, just the other way around. And here's the back, so the back of the No More Heroes 1 game is Travis's No More Heroes 1 jacket, like the back design of that, and it's just the tiger design. Then the No More Heroes 2 game is, again, the back of Travis's No More Heroes 2 jacket, but it's the bit of tiger there with the cross. I thought, yeah, these are actually part of the box, I thought they were going to be like stickers, but I guess not. And here's the top, it's the No More Heroes logos with the arrows pointing, like when you do your slashes to heavy hit. Um, and these titles are actually embossed, so you can feel them when they're on the box, it's quite bumpy, it's quite nice. And then the bottom is like... Here it's like a film, piece of film, because that's like what No More Heroes 1 uses quite often, and No More Heroes 2 uses this quite often because it's just plain white with some pixel stars. But yeah, it's got Grasshopper Manufacturer, the developers, Marvelous, the publishers, and Limited Run Games, the guys producing this collector's edition. Oh yeah, and these magnet together, so when you move them, they move together, because when you open them, there's like little magnets inside. I'll show you it in a second when I get to it. Okay, so now we've got all that out of the way, I'm gonna start unboxing. First gonna start with No More Heroes 1, the first game. So starting off, you know, we've already talked about the back front and sides and stuff. But yeah, I forgot to mention this is embossed also, so you can touch this, it's bumpy. But yeah, now we're gonna open it. Yeah, when you open this up, it's got like the little tiger from Travis's Ecstasy Bar, so I really like that. Yeah, here's the embossed of the No More Heroes logo. And, yeah, just going to open it up one by one. Yeah, here's all the contents, um, and here's inside the box. Like I said before, yeah, it's got a magnet, so it keeps one and two magnetated together. don't know if magnetated is even a word. <laughs> okay. So here's the No More Heroes Japanese box art poster. It's also the same as the European box art, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Turn it over, you get the Bizarre Jelly anime Travis watches as a poster. So, you, you know, you can actually go up to the poster and... Moe. So here's the art book and here's all the other stuff. So first I'm going to go for this and the art book later. Here is the game on Switch. Really nice box art with all the assassins behind Travis. 
here's the back of the box, here's the side, and here's the inside. And it's got a manual, so I'm really surprised about that because Switch games don't have manuals anymore. It's nice to actually see a game have a manual again, like it's been years. And here's the cartridge. And taking it all out, here's the map of Center Destroy inside the box. Yeah, and for a bit of trivia, Center Destroy is set in California. And without going into too much detail, if you look up enough info about this, you can tell it's where San Diego is because of where it's next to the ocean and has a Mexican border. And in the No More Heroes 3 trailer, it shows a glow from San Diego. So, yeah, it's Kill the Past Universe version of that city, and it's set in Santa Destroy. Yeah, and here's a quick comparison of the Switch manual to the Wii manual. It's very different inside, because it's got all this. Yeah, just going to quickly go through it because I don't want to spend too long on one little bit. Yeah, because obviously this manual is a lot different and actually has a little comic inside. And yeah, the Switch manual doesn't have the comic sadly. Oh, but that's nice, it's got a whole center to show map again with Travis and Bizarre Jelly on the very back and here's the steelbook it's very nice and here's the back it's all like shiny I really like it and here's the inside it's got a picture of Jean there um, yeah and you can put the game like in the steelbook and the manual there but I don't know who really uses steelbooks anyway because yeah, yeah. The actual box is usually better. So this is my first time dealing with a steelbook and actually owning one because I've actually never had one before because I've never really seen the point. Originally I thought it was like you could put like the actual game box in there and put like the steelbook over it but I guess not. <laughs> but yeah what I really like is um, the standard switch box is based off the American release of the game's box art while the steelbook is based off the European and Japanese box art. Oh yeah, and if you want a size comparison of the flag, this is how big it is to an actual Switch game. Yeah, tiny like I said before. Unfortunately this isn't signed because 30 of these were signed by Suda himself, but that doesn't matter to me because I'm just happy I managed to get this honestly. Here's the soundtrack, I'm very excited for this actually because if you look up the soundtrack on eBay or online it's really rare and expensive to get physically, so this is quite a big thing. It's quite chunky and big. Yeah. Oh, it's still in its plastic case. I didn't know this was actually wrapped up. Because I opened up all my other stuff before, but not this. And here's all the songs you get on all the discs. Very cool. Uploading this onto my computer so I can like listen to it on my phone and just use this for background music of this video, I guess. Okay, I opened it up, and I just wanted to note that I love how all this just smells like new trading cards or something, like when you used to get Pokemon back in school. <laughs> so on disc one, we've got a picture of Thunder Ryu. He is Travis's master from the Yakuza and did wrestling. Um, there's silver, Sylvia on the back. There's obviously Shiny on the back of that. <laughs> then disc two, we've got Dr. Naomi. Juvenile sister. But, um, okay, nothing on the back of there. But I'll just put that back. And on the last disc, we've got Travis's brother, Henry Cooldown, who for some reason has a different last name, with Shinobu on the back of that. And that's the soundtrack. Okay, so annoyingly, these paper bits snap when you try to get the art book out, so care for that. Oh, this is really nice. So we've got some. Inside Run Games interviewing Suda51 himself, so they're just asking him questions and Suda is just ask, answering. Yeah, there's quite a lot here, so I won't go through this all now. This will be something I'll read in my free time. Some character art. Honestly, yeah, most of this is online, so you've probably seen all of this already. 
class was my UAA Rankers Bible. I've gone through all this before, because it's the same art. Um, I might remake that video, honestly, because it's bad. Some more interviews here. Um, just talking about how the game is made. Drawings. With Bizarre Jelly. Very cool. Oh, that's nice. As I already got No More Heroes digitally, I wanted to know what would happen if you put the cartridge in while you have the digital download already saved. And yeah, it just makes a second game. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it actually saves the save progress. I guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, so it doesn't save your save data, it makes you pick a new game. Okay. Okay, I found that quite funny. <laughs> so the digital is here, and the physical is here. It makes two separate play activities. How great. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You can't even collect your gold points for the game. Okay. And that is all I have to say about this for now. And yeah, it's been pretty good. Now, to move on to No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. The not as good sequel, but still fun game. So here we've got the No More Heroes 2 Collector's Edition. Um, yeah, I've already gone over all the sides like before. Um, I'm going to mention again, this is embossed. But yeah, I'm going to get into it now. But yeah, also like the other box, um, opening this, it's got like the Ecstasy Bar Tiger inside. And here's all the insides. And yeah, like the other box, it's got like a magnet there to, I guess, you know, stick to the other box. And yeah, you can see the embossed logo here too and here's the poster for this game so it's the Japanese cover of the Hoppers edition but as a poster yeah and the other side is basically just Sylvia with the Bloodberry yeah there's like an actual figure of this but it's like really expensive and now we're gonna get into all this obviously gonna go with this first then the art book later so here we go again so I've already opened this before um, unfortunately this also isn't one of the 30 signed by Suda Games, but oh well. And here's the back. And here's the side. Here's the inside of the game. Um, this has also got a little manual and a game. And taking all this out, let's see what we get. The same art as before, but you know, it's still pretty cool. And here's the steelbook, and obviously it's the same art on the front and back. Here's the side, I guess. Yeah, and inside it's just a dirty Santa destroy flag. Obviously, you know, you can put your like that, but you know, who's going to use a steelbook anyway? But yeah, what I do like is how the standard game is based on, you know, the standard game, and the steelbook is the same for the Hobbs edition. The only complaint is I think they do use this art a bit too much in No More Heroes 2, like this collector's edition specifically. Yeah, so quickly skimming through this little manual, we've got that on the back, and Kimmy, we've got the other assassins. Obviously I don't want to take too long on this either. I've noticed No More Heroes 2 artwork is a lot more harder and rarer to find that I've noticed. Yeah. So it's quite nice to see a bit of this I guess. We have like little facts about them I guess. And here is the No More Heroes 2 soundtrack. This is also quite rare and um, expensive to get on eBay and online, so it's quite a big deal that this is also physical. Um, here's all the soundtrack songs. There's a lot more on disc 3. Um, here's the side. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly open this because it's still got its plastic wrapper on. Okay, so opening this, we've got... Ooh, I like the discs a lot more on this, they're a lot more shiny but very reflective. So we've got Sylvia on disc 1, nothing behind. We've got Travis on disc 2, nothing behind. And Shinobu on disc 3, with I'm guessing, yep, nothing behind. Oh wait, no. We've got the star logo with Travis. Yeah, again, gonna upload this onto my computer so I can listen to it on my phone and um, have it in the background for this video. So this one was some, for some reason a little bit easier to get out but though 
to damage it a little. Behind the scenes of No More Heroes 2, so here's the front, here's the back. Yeah, go quickly skim through this. And again, I'll probably read through this in my own time, because I obviously don't want to go through the entire thing in this video and make this video overly long. But yeah, it's going to be like the same, I'm guessing. Interview with Suda and Limited Run Games. Some concept art. Oh, it's got the models next to them, that's pretty cool. Personally, I didn't really enjoy these boss fights, like, especially this one, it's the worst one. <laughs> um, people say Jasper Butt Jr. but I disagree, I've got to say this one's worse. But anyway, or this one, this one just spams, I hate this boss. But yeah, I noticed with No More Heroes 2, I haven't really enjoyed any of the bosses, it's mainly just the fighting alone, I guess. But even though then it's a little tedious, but well. Actually, a quick correction on myself. I did enjoy the uh, Mimi boss fight where he plays Henry. I found that quite fun. Yeah, some cool pictures and stuff. That same picture. So that is that. Yep, you guessed it. We're going to get a second game with no returning save file. So, you know, this just looks great on my Switch, you know. Yay. <laughs> And again, the annoyance of not being able to claim the gold points. Though I guess I'll try change my region or something to see if that works. And now that's it for No More Heroes 2. Oh, that's nice, got matched up on the flag. So yeah, that's been my unboxing and review for this collector's edition. I gotta say, it's pretty decent. It's got some flaws, but not many. Um, this is very enjoyable, it's worth the price. Obviously, the price it was originally not when now scalpers have got it. I'm glad I didn't miss out on this, I really do enjoy this and have fun putting this on my pseudo shelf and growing my pseudo collection. And yeah, don't lick your Switch games, they taste gross. I tried them both myself just to be sure, they still got the taste. It's not fun. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be it for this video now. Um, stay subscribed for more No More Heroes videos because I've got some more coming up. And yeah, let me know what else you want to see because I do kind of want to get the Hoppers Edition on Wii. I've got the Threes Collector's Edition on its way. Would eventually like to get the Travis Drug Skin Collector's Edition if that wasn't so damn rare and expensive. Oh yeah, and don't forget, if you want to know how to 100% these games, I've got a video up on my channel about that, so go watch that video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.